Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software. Today we are discussing about a software name as VimTech for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is VimTech for PC, what are its feature and function, then we'll tell you that how you configure the camera, how you download and install this app on your system and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. VimTech for PC is an app which is used to connect as well as control a CCTV camera on your screen. It is also used to monitor the live camera over the internet. The main purpose of this app, by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, you can see the multiple channel at a time. For example, you install two or three cameras at different locations and you want to see in a single place. This app is for that. You can you are able to access the PTZ camera. You means you are able to pan it and zoom. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take the backup of the recorded videos. You adjust the video streaming and many more. Now download and install VimTech for PC on Windows OS. We have to take the help of Android emulator called BlueStack. This app is not given for the Windows OS. First, we download the BlueStack on Windows OS and with the help of that, we download and install VimTech for PC. I make a separate video that how you install BlueStack on PC and I will give in the link in the description also. You can watch the video. If, once after successful installation of BlueStack, you find BlueStack 10 on your desktop or BlueStack 5 on your desktop. Just double click on BlueStack 10 op option and when you do that, it is this look like like, like that and it start opening the app. This is the interface of the app and first thing you should do, you should click on the app layer and you click, when you click on the app layer, it goes to another interface Android environment for the app so that you can run any Android app on this interface. Now, this is the interface. Now you should click on the system apps and click on Play Store. Now you have to search for Vim Tag. Now click installed. When you click installed, it is totally automatic process. First it download on your system, then it start installing and it is totally automatic process. You don't need to click anything anywhere. Let the process to be finished, then we'll tell you that how you how you run this app.
now to start installing Now it is completely installed, you should click on open. One more thing I would like to discuss with you that when it is completely installed, you find the option on the desktop also like Vimtech here. When you just double click in this app, it will directly open to the app layer. Okay. Just click open. And here it asks for a sign up option if you don't have account and a sign in option if you have account. So it is very simple process you can do by your own. I have an account, just go for that. Just click sign in and here I insert my username and password. agree and click allow now this is the interface of the app the first thing you should do and this is the account setting that if you want to take the screenshot it will store in my album and here if you have a cloud storage then it will also be access if you take if you take it it is paid app and here is password management and my order all the thing you can do from here okay so just back it again just click on device so click on this top left corner here plus button when you do this you find that under a window where it asks for a which type of camera you have for example you have a pan and tilt camera you have mini camera all the do you can all thing from here just click on the mini cam or any cam and here at electrical board also lighting solution is also they have so just click on the dome camera and first thing you should do you should power on the device when you power on the device just click power on and click next now here it asks for to so send you qr code okay so qr code or basically is the sticker stick on the, your camera you can scan that camera it starts config it start configuring it and maybe it asks for a Wi-Fi password so you do you should enter your Wi-Fi password or it may be asked for username and password so you can insert that power username and password okay here it asks for a if you, you can't find the QR code just click on the QR code and it at start searching your network if your camera is connected with this set the network it will start showing just close this and here you found option enter the id manually so here you find the id like 1jfeig you should enter that id and just click next so i don't have id because i don't have camera right now so maybe you do it by your own if you have find any problem you can comment me so this is all about this video so thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day